Okay, this is me showing you how to make one of these kind of Chris Ede inspired drawings. Now he has actually used pencil um, and scanned in a pencil drawing and then worked with that. We're not going to do that today, we're going to do something slightly different. But just bear that in mind for the future if you want to have a go at this yourself. So this is Chris Ede's drawing and this is my example here. As you can see, it's not anywhere near as detailed, but it's just a quick go at it, just to show you some of the techniques. I'm just going to hide that down there. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to find kind of a picture of an animal, because obviously this is an animal project that you're doing at the moment, but uh, if you're doing something else and you're still wanting to try this technique, you don't have to use an animal. Um, I've gone with the humble chicken, so I found a picture of a chicken. And the first thing that you want to do with it is to add a filter onto it to get that sort of effect there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate my layer and what you'll see is that I've got all these layers going on from where I've already done this. So I'm going to talk you through it as we go. Um, but you can see my finished effect. So I'm going to go to Filter Artistic Cutout, working on the layer of the chicken. And you can see it comes up to this effect. You want to make sure that number of levels says 8, so you want 0. Um, kind of zero or one in the edge for fidelity and it gives this kind of cut out almost post like effect so you click on OK uh, and that's what you get so that's number one step number one step number two is you want to get rid of the background so you need to delete the background there is a tutorial on how to delete the background uh, so I'm not going to show you how to do that again but here is my ex example of the chicken cut out you can do that before you've actually applied the filter effect, it's up to you. Um, you can just rub out the background as well if you want to do it like that. So that's how I've done the chicken and it now has no background to it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add this kind of effect, this layer underneath. So, oops, no, let's go to number two properly. So cut out the background. Number three oh, is fill the background with a layer. So you can see that there, I've chosen a colour I've kept it within the colours that have been offered to me on the chicken when I've done the filter. So I've selected this creamy colour, OK, and then I've just collected the paint bucket. And on a new layer, not in the same layer, because if I do it in the same layer it disappears, I have filled in the colour. If you're not sure how to make a new layer, you find it here. At the top there's a little button there and it gives you options. So I have made a can make a new layer in there or you go to layer, new layer. So I'm calling mine each a step as I go. So that's layer three, that's the third step. The fourth step is to distress that background. So what I've done is I've collected a different colour um, by clicking on the, where's it gone? Chicken, chicken, chicken. I've clicked on the chicken again. I've used the eyedropper tool to collect a sort of a lighter colour, so I've gone for maybe this mid-tone colour in there. And then I've gone with the brush tool and collected a sort of splattery brush up here. So one of these spatter brushes there, maybe like 49 or 59 or something. And then when you've got that, you can kind of build up the, spat the sort of effects and then choose a darker colour. And what I ended up doing on that layer was I ended up taking the opacity down. So if I click on mine, you'll see up here, it's only on opacity 30. If I wind it right the way back up, it was a bit too dark, I felt. So I've taken it down, so it's just a sort of a thing in the background. It's not a really, really um, overdone effect. So there you go, that's step number four. Step number five is creating this kind of like, um, what do you call it, textural... Uh, background again a bit more textural and what I've done is I've actually used this picture here of um, a load of plants and I've not done anything to it except I've just added a filter so I've gone into the filters I've gone to artistic and I think or was it um, it might have been sketch yep it was in sketch and I've gone to charcoal I think and on the charcoal effect it makes this kind of really sketchy outline I think the reason it's picked those colours is because I've selected that colour down here before I've gone into it. So that's given me a nice kind of sketchy outline. And then literally all I've done is drag that onto my picture like so. I've resized it by changing the size. Edit, transform, scale like this. 
held down shift because if I don't it won't resize it properly rescaled it to this kind of size clicked return or double click to make that stay and then and I'll show you on the other one not just on that one I've edited up here from normal on the on the blending mode between the layers so this is how the layers interact with each other I've set the blending mode to actually multiply and what that does is it hides the white background so hopefully you're keeping up to date with me as we go uh, so that's step number five step number six I've actually found some kind of foliage where's the foliage is this foliage and I've basically um, if you can see here, I found this foliage and what I did was I actually um, deleted the background and then I selected it. Oop, I'm on the wrong layer. Selected this, so I'll select inverse, so I know it's selecting the actual um, area. And you can see these bits in here are not selected, they're deleted. So what I need to do is need to hold down on the shift button um, to, to select some of those minus button, it's the minus button to select some of those bits. I want a bit of detail in here, I want it to make it look a bit like it's actually plant life and the way that you do that is by making sure that all the areas are selected a bit like this. Now then what I've done is I've hidden that layer and then I've opened up this layer which I've got a selection of leaves. I've got, um, cut out some leaves from the internet so what I did was I copied and pasted, so edit, copy, and edit, paste, and what it does when you copy and paste is it pastes it into a new layer. So if I hide that layer underneath, it's actually made a new layer for me of this kind of like leaf effect background, and you see where I cut those other bits out as well when I selected, that it's nice to have some of those stalks in there because it shows that it's actually foliage going on. And then what I did was I actually, if I hide that one, I applied the cutout filter, so I'll go back to this, apply the cutout filter, filter, artistic cutout, like so, and there you go, it kind of just makes it a bit more posterized in the effect, and then I have simply dragged that on, and then I've set that to multiply again, so if I take it off to normal, you can see it goes a bit normal again, and I have actually taken the opacity down on that too, so I've taken the opacity down to about 50 odd uh, and then I've set the colour, the um, layer property to multiply just so it blends into the background a bit more. And what I've then done is I've just copied that out lots of times. So I've clicked on the image, held down Alt and when I hold down Alt you can see you get another little arrow underneath and I've just dragged that out like so and some of them I've changed, I've turned around to a different direction. Um, and you can see that I've got these, that I've just added these all in the background. So there's one up there, there's one here. So I've got a collection of lots of little um, things going on. The next thing that I did was I actually found an image um, of a plant. Let me hide some of these again for number 10. And you can see that basically if I zoom in, I've just outlined the plant, so I've just gone in there and outlined the plant. Actually, we haven't outlined the chicken. Where's the chicken outline gone? Oh, there we go. So step number one was actually to outline the chicken, but you can outline it now if you haven't already outlined it. Um, and then what I've done is gone and found some plants and just outlined again. So all I'm doing when I'm saying outline is I'm collecting the brush, making sure it's on a simple brush, make it sure it's on like a small brush size. So we won't give it 10 pixels and it's just on a plain brush and it needs to be in black so it stands out a little bit and then I've just, oh that's way too big, make it maybe about size 2 or something. Yeah and you can see that I've traced around a shape a bit like that but not like that um, and then you can see that, oh there's my actual shape there. So I found some of these little flowers, I outlined them and that's what is the number 10. And then if I put all these back in so that you know that that's what I had, this is where I've got to. I'll make sure that all these things are on here. And then I actually copied out these flowers again a couple of times just by dragging. Remember we click and drag, hold down Alt and that makes it copy it out for us. 
and there's one down here uh, and there's one down here and they're all set to be on multiply so between the layers they're set to be on multiply and I think that's it some of these layers are actually not relevant so that's your final outcome you've got your kind of nice transparent effects in the background where you're seeing through to the textural layers you've got your nice bits of detail you've got your chicken which stands out in the foreground um, and then you can see that that is quite a nice little version if we look back to his you can see that he's scuffled up the edges and texturized the backgrounds he's made some like nice detailed flower images he's overlaid this big C um, and, and applied a, a kind of a multiply effect which is why it's standing out against the background um, the only difference really is that his was actually a drawing here that he'd hand drawn and maybe coloured a little bit with some brushes on the computer um, or even done by hand and then worked with these layers in the background a bit like ours okay so that is how you make your own Chris Ede inspired um, illustration